okay let's learn how to find an unknown given three remaining quantities okay so we know what is ratio proportion and when it makes a proportion or not so then we are ready to actually solve for proportion problem so again when is a proportion if we assume two fraction this is one fraction this is another fraction they are equal to each other we are assuming they may not be equal but we are assuming they're equal so well of course if this is unknown they're going to be equal here in this case so whatever we find that should equal equality that should be equality so that is the reason we're using proportion concept okay let's jump into this problem let's see we can actually find out so what is unknown by the way it says unknown right so unknown this time this is our variable that is unknown so i can just cross multiply by the way i can just cross multiply just like that just like that okay if i do cross product it's going to give me 10x equal to 32 as you see we have done earlier you know solving linear equation in one step so then we need to find our variable so we are going to divide by 10 we're going to divide by 10 both sides we're going to divide by 10 both, both sides so that cancel out so we clearly have we clearly have x equal to 3.2 well i want to say equal because it's exact 3.2 or i can actually convert into a mixed fraction if you want okay it's three and one fifth okay which is fine this either way you can leave the answer it's absolutely fantastic so x equal to 3.2 if you plug into plug back into that equation right you can check it whether it works or not okay you can always recheck it okay so let's do the next problem okay next problem what is the next problem here so next problem i clearly see is p is my variable so again i can do this variable part first because our goal is to get the variable on one side so we have a four p and we do cross multiply here right four p equal to 13 times 9 is 117 okay 117 then of course obviously you want to divide by you divide by four divide by four in both sides divide by four in both sides so that is going to be disappearing and definitely what we have p is equal to well, let me use the black name p is equal to 117 divided by two sorry i'm i apologize divide by 4 is going to give you 29.25 or we can convert into mixed fraction 29 and 1 4 and again these are exact though 25 cents is one quarter so we are not rounding things up right okay let's do the next one so our answer for the first one here you can always actually say well that is my x equal to that is my x equal to okay x equal to what that is x equal and also we can see this is our p equals you can always label your answer okay all right let's take a look on the next one okay so i do the same thing cross multiply again what was the variable you do that first so 15 r and you do this one next equal to 9 times 45 okay 9 times 45 so check it out you have a little calculator right 9 times 45 9 times 45 enter so it gives you 405 405 405 remember we need to cancel out 15 we need to cancel out 15 so r is equal to now we can have some mixed fraction or basically let's take a look here we can actually work it out here so how do you do that you have 4 or 5 already stored divide by 15 that gives you 27 oh it's nice whole number so that's lovely nice whole number which is 27 so that is our answer here that is 27 okay very nice let's work with the last one it's the same concept actually i have two more here okay 
I have two more. All right, let's work it out those. You know how to do it. You pause it and do it and check the answer with me, okay, guys? So, same stuff. We are going to cross product. And also this one next. So, it's going to give me 15M equal to 500. 15m equal to 500 then obviously we're going to divide by 15 we're going to divide by 15 that will be off that is gone okay so what we have we have m equal to 500 over 15 it should give you approximately 3.33 now i have to erase this one i'm going to use approximation why i'm using approximation because i'm rounding things up that is the reason i'm approximating so that is going to be this one okay approximation or you can convert into mixed fraction and you put down equal that's up to you okay let's take a look next one next one is a little bit different as you see there is a variable on the left which easily you can work it out and say well 9x equal to 10 times that okay 10 times that so 10 times 10 times 5 and 1 5 and of course you want to reduce a little bit so i'm going to show you actually it's 5.2 10 times 5.2 let's actually work it out i'm going to check it out here 10 times 5 and 1 fifth enter so it gives you 52 okay so that's nice it's going to give you 52 52 and divide by 9 divide by 9 x equal to exactly 5 and 7 over 9 and if you're not sure how to convert improper to mix i have a video go to the basic math section and you check out this video how to convert into an improper to mix this is exact or approximately you want to use approximation sign 5.78 that is how we come up with this answer guys okay i hope you understood how to find unknown given three different three remaining quantities thank you